So we're back. We just got done tapping in with the kicker deck. We got some great insight, if you ask me. Now, I'm going to be using. I, know, I barely ever use this. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to put my right away to deck up because I don't want to have any favorites. Like, I feel like I always use the same cards, you know, like I always have this favorite deck that I use. <clears throat> and I really want to utilize all that my spiritual tools have to offer so that requires me to use different, you know, artillery and different weapons, so to speak. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. Dear Angels of the Light, thank you for lifting energetically anything from this deck that's not of divine love and light and releasing it into the divine love and light. Thank you. So we have the two of wands here. We have the two of wands here. So yeah, we have partnership here. Yeah, with the queen of wands. That would be me. My divine masculine. Two of cups here. A very passionate, soulful, divine connection here with me, this queen of wands. And this king of cups, this Scorpio, my divine masculine, the love of my life, my, you know, my gift, my wish fulfillment. This is me, the queen of pentacles, a very stable, solid, secure, grounded, healing, um, balanced, you know, opulent. Maternal, you know, head of the household individual that I am. So I'm definitely marriage material, so why would he not want to, you know, go all the way, as they say? Alright, spirit, show me more. Spiritual guides and angels coming in. Whoa. Okay. So we have the Seven of Swords. So he's sneaking towards me. Sneaking. I mean, I'm pretty sure he knows I'm intuitive. He's pretty sure he knows that. I have spiritual gifts, so yes, I have third eye, yes, I see you. So it's not so secret, but we're gonna pretend it is because, you know, he really wants to surprise me, so I understand that, but it's, it's kind of hard to surprise me when I pretty much know everything. So I can see how it could be difficult to surprise me, but we're just gonna go with it. We have the hermit card here, so yeah. He's done some introspection, some self-reflecting, and he wants to fight for this connection. He doesn't want an ending to take place here. He's overcoming all the obstacles and challenges, healing his heart from the loss during our separation and wanting to come in and take, you know, actions, you know, he's thinking of a master plan and he wants to commit here he wants to be my spiritual guide and come in and take this all the way we have the queen of swords here so we have a match divine counterparts here king and queen of swords I can't make the 
this up. Bottom of the deck, here we have two of wands again. Yeah, so he wants the partnership. What else, spiritual guys, angels? We have here four of wands. Yeah, he wants to come home and move in with me and marry me. Lover's card here, he has a lot of passion for me. And he wants to give me an offer, he wants to solidify this connection. Ace of Pentacles here. This is his final decision. He wants to be transparent with, about his feelings and align with his destiny, which would be this connection and us together. And he wants to give me this offer, this Ace of Cups. This proposal of a relationship or a marriage. Eight of Wands he wants to move very fast about this. And in doing so. Alright, what else? We have judgment again. That's his final decision, yeah. To have long-term security and stability in our connection. He's holding on to me energetically. As well as I him. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and some masters. We have here the hangman. See, so yeah, I see things from a new perspective after taking a pause during his healing um, in our separation. Seeing things from a new perspective, surrendering to the cosmos, and wanting to take action here. Um, wanting to manifest. You know, new ideas, new ventures, new things for our, our passionate new beginning that we're going to have here with this Empress, which would be me. 